for the Plant and Food Research Gala Dinner and Awards, and we are about to bring in the Ahu Whenua Trophy, the trophy that we've heard so much about over the past two days. It is launched here this evening, and we are about to welcome this prestigious trophy and the Ahu Whenua team who will place it with the other very impressive Ahu Whenua trophies that are already up here on the stage. So, ladies and gentlemen, having found your seats, I now ask you to please stand for the karanga, and I ask you also as a mark of respect to not eat or drink until the karakia is completed. in the world, ladies and gentlemen. I ask you now to please welcome Minister Nanaya Mahuta. E te huanga a te rangatira SM, te wahanga o kawa ki o tātou nei taonga ko kuhumai i wangani a tātou tēnā ko e tēnā tātou. E te tainga ki e rūpeke mai nei ki te tahua ko a whakaritea i tēnei pō, a kumihi ki a koutou te whakatutuki tanga o te whānui o te kaupapa ahu whenua. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, pai marere ki a tātou katoa. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the President of Horticulture New, Ze Horticulture New Zealand, Barry O'Neill, Board Members and Mike Chap Chapman, the, the Chief Executive. I want to also acknowledge, uh, I understand he was here earlier for the day, uh, my Ministerial colleague, Damien O'Connor, and Government uh, colleague Kiri Tapu Allen, who will be here for the duration of the e evening. Anything you need to say to us, you better know. <laughs> also, I want to acknowledge uh, the growers that are here tonight. Uh, our former CEO uh, for Tipuni Kōkiri, Michelle Hippolyte, who has been a strong leader in terms of maintaining ambitions around recognition of Māori participation and then development. And also, Kingi Smiler, your leadership as well uh, goes without saying. Tēnā tātou katoa. Thank you for the opportunity to be here and share in this significant announcement with you, the launch of the Ahu Whenua Trophy Competition for Horticulture for 2020. And to welcome into the family of Ahu Whenua Bledisloe Trophy standing before us this evening, the new Ahu Whenua Trophy for Horticulture. Before I talk about what is happening uh, with a little bit more detail, I'd like to look back to the past and the history of the Ahu Whenua Trophy competition. The history of Ahu Whenua tells us the story of how Māori created a strong economic presence on the land which is evident today, during an era when land was such a source of conflict. 
Te Apidea Nangata realised the importance of retaining and improving what remained of Māori land, and both he and Lord Bledisloe, the Governor-General at the time, saw the value of encouraging competitiveness as a means of increasing excellence in farming. Here in the Waikato in particular, it was Te Apirana's friendship with Te Puya Herangi that we saw our ability as a people, as an iwi, to branch into land development. This led to the creation of the inaugural Ahu Whenua Trophy competition in 1933. Today, 86 years later, the Ahu Whenua Trophy is the preeminent accolade to win in Māori farming and is recognised as the most prestigious and comprehensively judged award in New Zealand. The Ahu Whenua legacy instils in all Māori a sense of immense pride and self-belief in their achievements to date and sets the benchmark for excellence that ensures success for the future of Māori agribusiness. Against this backdrop, it's my absolute pleasure to launch the Ahu Whenua Trophy Excellence in Māori Horticultural Award 2020, sponsored jointly at platinum level by my ministry, Te Buni Kōkiri, and Minister O'Connor's ministry, the Ministry for Primary Industries. The trophy will be awarded to horticulture from next year, joining the awards for sheep and beef and dairy. This means from 2020, the trophy for horticulture will come every third year. Māori have had a long history in horticulture, which dates back to pre-European settlement, and today it is pleasing to see the presence of Māori in horticulture, with kiwi fruit, avocados and berries as star crops. We already have many inspiring Māori success stories in horticulture, and the Ahu Whenua Trophy competition will give Māori in the sector the opportunity to showcase their successes and receive recognition for their leadership, innovation, business growth, and their role as stewards of the land kaitiaki, which will be passed on through generations. But let's look at some of the examples. I'm sure many of you will know them. When I think about Wakatu Incorporated, a food basket approach across multi-food categories, Te Awanui Hukapak Limited, early ventured into the value chain and today are influential shareholders in Australia, Australasian Produce Business Seeker Limited, Tuarupaki Trust, a pioneers in temperature controlled horticulture using geothermal energy, innovating offshore as well as onshore. Te Awanui Hukapak shareholders collectively are one of the largest kiwi fruit growers. Ngai Tu Kairangi Trust, gee, the kitty, there's a lot from your area. Ngai Tu Kairangi Trust, a Te Awanui Hukapak shareholders, is acknowledged by its peers as one of the best kiwi fruit growers in the world and have expanded from the Bay of Plenty into the Hawke's Bay through the purchasing of 60 hectares of kiwi fruit for kiwi fruit orchards. The partnership with Kiwi Keyside Holdings and Titumu Pairoa is an example of innovative capital solutions for Māori land development into kiwi fruit through their Hua Kiwi initiative. And the acquisition of a large-scale kiwi fruit orchard, Mātai Pacific, in June this year by Te Arawa Group Holdings in Rotorua, Roto Mā Number no. 1 Incorporation in Ngāti Awa Group Holdings to demonstrate that Māori growing is not just about development but also strategic acquisition. So there's a lot happening. The competition will be good for the sector, I'm sure. There are large tracts of Māori land in prime horticultural areas, such as the far north Hawke's Bay and Bay of Plenty in Nelson, that are underused, providing massive opportunities for further development. This year, I announced the Whenua Māori Programme, which will directly address the issues raised by Māori landowners who face many challenges with accessing and managing their land productively because the system in which they need to operate is very complex. The programme will support landowners to use their land, take part in its governance and management, and have a say about the future growth and its opportunities. The implementation of the programme comes at a time of great opportunity for Māori farmers on their land. As I mentioned earlier tonight, for the first outing, we have before us an exact replica of the trophy that was designed by Goldie, the New Zealand artist renowned for his painting of Māori leaders and their communities. The creation of this trophy was an extensive collaborative effort between the village goldsmith in Wellington and the specialist silversmithing firm of Ottawa, who are based in Ashford in the, in the county of Kent, which is 98 kilometres southeast of London. 
The search was international for a company that had the capacity to spin the bowl in serving silver and sterling silver to the shape and size required. And you can see they've done a fantastic job. Master jeweller Dan Palmer from the Village Goldsmith produced handmade templates and impressions from the originals that allowed the craftsmen at Ottawa to create an exact copy of the originals. The base was designed and carved by the master carver Clive Fugel from Te Puya in Rotorua, the New Zealand Māori Arts and Crafts Institute. Tonight, the name that I will now give to this trophy is Homie Tikitiki, God of Cultivated Food. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank and acknowledge those who have worked so hard to bring us to this point. Again, King of your leadership as Chairman of the Ahu Whenua Management Committee and your team. Michelle, your leadership as well has been an enduring support for this particular kaupapa. Mike Chapman and your team from Horticultural New Zealand, all of you, I thank you. Nō reira ki a koutou katoa, nau mai te taonga nei, ki tēnei whakataitai, haumi e tiki tiki. Tēnā tātou katoa. Kia ora. Ita kua te, pupu ake